Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances at your lotus feet. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to all our Guru Maharajas. Whenever you're ready, Maharaj, you may take the call over. Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Yona Grihartam Bhajatam Padam Muram Anama Rupo Bhagavan Anantaha Namami Rupani Chajama Karma Beer Beje Samayam Paramam Prasidato Jatu. Translation The Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is inconceivably opulent, who is devoid of all material names, forms, and pastimes, who is all pervading, is especially merciful to his devotees who worship his lotus feet. Thus, he exhibits transcendental forms and names with, diff with his different pastimes. May that Supreme Personality of Godhead, his form is eternal, full of knowledge and bliss, be merciful to me. In this regard, in regard to the significant word, Anama Rupa, Srila Sri Swami says, Bhakita Nama Rupa, Rahito Pi, the word Anama, which means having no name, indicates that the Supreme Personality of Godhead has no material name. Simply by chanting the name of Narayan to call his son, Ajamil attains salvation. This means that Narayan is not an ordinary mundane name. It is non-material. The word Anama therefore indicates that the names of the Supreme Lord do not belong to this material world. The vibration of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is not a material sound and simile of the form of the Lord and his appearance and activities are all non-material. To show his cause is mercy to his devotees, as well as to the non devotees, the Supreme Personality of Godhead appears in this material world with names, forms, and pastimes, all of which trend are transcendental. Unintelligent men who cannot understand this think this think that these names, forms, and pastimes are material, and therefore they deny he has a name or a form. Considering considered with scrutiny. The conclusion of the non devotees who say that God has no name, and that of devotees who know that his name is not material, are practically the same. The Supreme Personality of Godhead has no material name, form, birth, appearance, or disappearance. But nevertheless, he takes birth as Janma. He takes his birth, Janma, as stated in Bhagavad Gita. Ajopishan avi atman bhutanam vishwayar pisam prakriti swam adishtayam sambhavami atmanai haya. Although the Lord is unworn, Aja, and his body never goes, undergoes material changes, he nevertheless appears as an incarnation, maintaining himself always in the transcendental stage, Sudha Sattva. Thus he exhibits his transcendental forms, names, and activities. That is a special mercy towards his devotees. Others may continue merely arguing about the whether the absolute truth has form or not. When the devotee, by the grace of the Lord, sees the Lord personally, he becomes spiritually ecstatic. Unintelligent persons say that the Lord does nothing, actually he has nothing to do. But nevertheless, he has to do everything because without his sanction, no one can do anything. The unintelligent, however, cannot see how he is working and how the entire material nature is working under his direction. His different potencies work perfectly. 
Natasikayam karanam vidyate, Natasya samajara disnipta drishyate, Parasya shakti vidahaya suryate, Swabhaviki jnana bhava kriya cha. As from the Sweta Swatara Upanishad 6.8. He has nothing to do personally, for since his potencies are perfectly, everything is immediately done by his will. Persons to whom the Supreme Personality of Godhead is not revealed cannot see how he is working. And therefore, they think that even if there is God, he has nothing to do or has no particular name. Actually, the Lord's name already exists because of his transcendental activities. The Lord is sometimes called Guna Karma Nama because he is named according to his transcendental activities. For example, Krishna means all attractive. This is the Lord's name because his transcendental qualities make him very attractive. As a small boy, he lifted Govardhan Hill, and in his childhood, he killed many demons. Such activities are very attractive, and therefore, he is sometimes called Giridari, Madhusudan, Anga Nusudana, and so on, because he acted as the son of Maharaj Nanda. He is called Nanda Tanuja. These names already exist, but since non devotees can under, not understand the names of the Lord, he is sometimes called Anama or nameless. This means that he has no material names. All his activities are spiritual, and therefore he has spiritual names. This is a very important part of this. Because all his activities are spiritual, therefore he has spiritual names. Generally, less intelligent men are under the impression that the Lord has no form. Therefore, he appears in the original form as Krishna, Satchitananda Vigraha, to carry out his mission of participating in the battle of Kurukshetra and pastimes to protect his devotee and vanquish the demons, Parichanaya, Sadhuran, Venasanaya, Jaduskita. This is his mercy. For those who think that he has no form and no work to do, Krishna comes to show that indeed he works. He works so gloriously that no one else can perform such uncommon acts. Although he appears as a human being, he married 16,108 wives, which is impossible for a human being to do. The Lord performs such activities to show people how great he is, how affectionate he is, and how merciful he is. Although his original name is Krishna, Krishna's two Bhagavan Swayam, he acts in unlimited ways, and therefore, according to his work, he has many, many thousands of names. Panchakalpa, Tilu Vaischa, Kripa Sindhupe, Vaischa Padikaram, Pavane Dyo, Vaishnave Dyo, Namahe Namaha Namah, Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale, Shri Mahdi Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamine, Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pacharine Nirvase Sasunyavari Pasyatya Deve Sitarine, Hare Jai Sri Krishna, Shaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita and Gadadara Sivasini Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said Nama Makari Bahudani Jasarva Shakti Sattar Pitani Amita Smarane Nakalaha Eta de Sri Tava Kripa Bhagavan Mamapi Dora Daiva Midri Samayajani Nanduragaha. My dear Lord, you have hundreds and millions of names like Krishna and Govinda, etc. In these transcendental names, you have invested all of your transcendental energy. And there are no hard and fast rules for chanting these names. Uh, but I am so unfortunate, although everything is there, uh, I have no taste for chanting. <laughs> so the word anama, and there's another one called 
nirguna. Nirguna means without form. Anama means without name. So when the impersonalists and the materialists read that, they think, no, oh, God has no name. He has no form. But it requires some understanding from people who know, or the Acharyas, who say, yes, this word, Nirguna, and Anama means he has nothing material, but he has unlimited forms, he has unlimited names, he has unlimited pastimes, he has unlimited qualities. Because he has unlimited, everything about him is unlimited. But his Principal names are Krishna, Govinda, Gopi Janabalabaya, Gopina, Shamsundar. These are the principal names that we chant, especially in Mahamantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So, Devotees have a theoretical understanding of this, but they don't understand this deep enough. Whereas it's, it's proven by the pastime of Ajamil when uh, he was overcome with the messengers of death, he saw them coming to take him away. Very horrible looking creatures. They exist. Don't think they don't exist because there have been many accounts, even in our ISKCON society, of people who have seen these personalities, um, not necessarily devotees, but people who were connected with devotees and had made this known, that they come to take the sinful living entity away and bring him to Yamaraj, and so he can give them their due punishment and then give them their next body, and then they start where they left off. Actually, they start in a better position because the punishment gets rid of a lot of the karma that they... So to suffer is good because it, it kind of like purifies your attachments to the material body. If you accept it in that way, that suffering is good. And it's also a message that this is what the material world is like. It's a place for suffering. Therefore, the Bodhi knows that the only way to get free from their suffering is to glorify the Lord and chant his holy names, hear about his transcendental pastimes. His pastimes are also, uh, also um, indications of his different names. For instance, uh, he is called Vrindavan Bihari because he, he roams around Vrindavan. <laughs> And so he's called, um, let's see, the gopi Janavalaba. He gives pleasure to the gopis. Um, so these names are also indicated of his particular activities in relationship to his pure devotees. So, and as it says here, Krishna is very, very kind and merciful. He appears in this world just to show he doesn't have to come in this world. He has no business to be in this world. Everything is in the spiritual world. He didn't no need to have, and he can also direct the activities in this material world from the spiritual world. He's all powerful. He doesn't have to come here to do things, but he comes here in order to give pleasure to his devotees. This is his uh, mercy. This is his kindness. This is his compassion. And when the devotees see the Lord in his merciful form as he appears in this world, their hearts become charmed and their attachment to Krishna increases more and more and more. So he does come for the benefit of his devotees. And sometimes when the demons get too powerful, then he also comes to remove that. And that's that is the Krishna book. If you read Krishna book or Srimad Bhagavatam, the beginning of the 10th canto, he came in order to um, reset the world back into its proper um, spiritual mood. So he came, 
kill Kamsa and all of Kamsa's cohorts, Agasura, Bakasura, Keshi, um, Aristasura, all of these Asuras, he came to uh, rid the world of these demons who were giving so much trouble to the devotee. But he doesn't have to do that to come to the material world. He can do it by just by sending a, a, mater a material calamity. He can create an earthquake and all the demons go into the hole and they're finished. <laughs> so he doesn't have to do all that. But he comes in order to show his compassion and mercy to the devotee. So uh, he came 5,000 years ago, and we read about that in the Srimad Bhagavatam, the activities he performed, which becomes the, the uh, sinusaur of the devotee's happiness. We hear how Krishna interacted with his devotees and says he had 16,108 wives. Who can have 16,108 wives? Sometimes you know, other religious groups challenge. This is your God. He has so many wives. He must be licentious. And, uh, or maybe it's just some, some uh, hyperbole, some exaggeration. So one time, one Christian group, they brought us to court in the United States claiming that we are worshiping a God that is, has 16,000 wives and he's, he has a, he's a cowherd boy who plays with cows. So they wanted to make a uh, statement that what we are worshiping is some kind of imagination. So in that court case, we had a very good lawyer. <laughs> and um, so at one point, our lawyer, Asked the judge, um, "Can I ask a question?" There were there were there were Christian nuns in the courtroom also. Can I ask the question to the Christian nuns? And the judge gave permission. And the judge said, "I mean, the the, per, the lawyer said, isn't it true that when you take your vow of nunnery, you agree to be the bride of Christ?" And everybody was frozen. <laughs> Nobody could say anything. They, they, they couldn't lie because it was true. And then the judge got the point. Case dismissed. <laughs> so God can have 16 million wives. The six of 16,000, that's just a small number. So, uh, yeah, because he's God. <laughs> the Prabhupada said, you can't do that. You can't even maintain one wife. <laughs> It's, it's, it's in the age of Kali, and nobody can even maintain one wife. So what to speak of 16,108, which Krishna created palaces for each one of them, where they were, they were as big as the spiritual world. Some of these palaces were as big as the spiritual planets. So probably Krishna is all powerful, and he can do anything, and he loves his devotees. And therefore, he does all of his activities simply to in, attract his devotees to come back to him in loving devotional service. That's his whole program. He sends his name, the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and other names. He sends his pure devotee, Srila Prabhupada. He sends the uh, revealed scriptures, Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, Chaitanya Chari Pamita. He sends um, Prashadam, which is uh, Transcendental foodstuffs that uplift the consciousness and give transcendental happiness. He comes in the form of his deity, worshipped by his devotee. So he takes so much, he might say, trouble, that's a quote unquote word, in order to somehow or other wake us up <laughs> from our slumber, thinking that <coughs> our body, this material world, is important. <laughs> and what's actually important is our relationship with Krishna. So whatever time we have left, that is considered to be valuable. Whatever time we have left in this material world, we should use that time to 
uh, upgrade, you might use that word, upgrade our relationship with Krishna. And he is, um, and if he, and if the devotees don't get it with all of these mercy manifestations that he sends, then he gives them a little slap, a little difficulties here and there just to tell them, hey, you are making the mistake. You're going the other way. So the slap is really small. But if we don't wake up, then the slaps get a little harder. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So this is Krishna. He's very merciful. And he's always thinking about his devotees. He's called Bhaktivedanta Sao. He loves his devotees. He's worshipped by his devotees. He worships his devotees in the form of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He worshipped his devotees. He actually, when Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was there, after he took an initiation from Ishwar Puri in Gaya, he returned to Navadvi. And what is the first thing he did? He starts serving his devotees by bringing their prasadam, by washing their clothes, by folding their clothes and returning to them, by making sure that everything that they needed was available. He did it personally. He didn't ask someone else to do it because he likes to serve his devotees. He enjoys them. So, but the devotees want to serve Krishna. So Prabhupada said, Krishna wants to serve his devotees and the devotees want to serve Krishna. And there's a competition who can serve the best. And Krishna always wins. <laughs> we can't give him anything compared to what he gives us. We've come to this material world to be separate from him, to enjoy the sense objects and uh, to somehow or other find happiness in this, this uh, material energy. But he pushes all that aside just to show his mercy and tries to remind us where we can find real happiness. So it's incumbent upon the devotees to take sufficient amount of time to hear and chant the glories of the Lord. Especially the Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So these are, uh, this is the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And if you go through the scriptures and you'll see how he serves his devotee, how he makes arrangements for his devotees to come back to him. That's his main service. Although he appears and does his pastimes, these pastimes are meant to attract the conditioned souls and the devotees into loving devotional service to him. And if somebody gets attracted to Krishna and that attraction increases and they become attached to Krishna, then their devotional service is, what we say, uh, successful. It's just a matter of time before they develop love of God. So hearing and chanting the glories of the Lord, and he says here, he has unlimited names, unlimited forms, unlimited qualities, unlimited pastimes. Everything about him is unlimited. And everything about him is rasavaisa. Rasavaisa means loaded with transcendental sweetness. That's Krishna. He's sweet. <laughs> and he is very attractive. And we just have to turn our face to him and just get it, stop looking towards the material energy to try to adjust the material energy to make it better. You can't make it better. It's not possible because it works under his direction. You may make a little adjustment here and there, but don't waste time with that, with that activity. Simply hear and chant the glories of the Lord and the association of devotees to come for some gum, mama, fear you, some bidon, bhavanti, ritkarna, rasayana kata. Rasayana kata means that it's so sweet that it gives nectar to the ear and to the heart. This is Krishna. And if we haven't tasted that yet, then you have a way to go because <laughs> it's available. Okay, I'll stop here and. Uh, can open it up for questions, but before I 
I'm ready. The one was, 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 was. So I will be right back. And uh, so we'll start with Radhe Govinda when I get back. And uh, I need about four minutes. Devotees, you may turn on your videos because Maharaj would uh, enjoy looking at you and answering your questions. Indu Lekha Mataji has a wonderful proposal and she's requesting if any devotee would be keen in leading a short kirtan. Can I do a kirtan? Yes, perfect. Go ahead. Yes. Once Maharaj is back, we will hand over the mic to him. Oh, Maharaj. Hari Hara, Yanama, Krishna, Yadavaya, Namaha. Hari Bol, Yadavaya, Madhavaya. Madhavaya, Madhavaya. come. No, I think so. I think he was waving. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yes. <laughs> oh, I think he's uh, asking us to do the kirtan. Yes, let's go ahead, Prabhu. Yadavaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Namaha Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudhan Giridhari Gopinath Madana Mohan Shri Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Sita Hari Guru Vaishnava Bhagavata Gita Sri Rupa Sanatana Bhatta Raghunath Sri Jeeva Gopala Bhatta Dasa Raghunath Echai Goshai Puri Charan Bhagavan Jaha Hote Bigna Nash Abhishta Puran Echai Goshai Char Mohi Taro Das Tasamar Padre Nubura Panchagras Tarele Charana Sevi Bhakta Sanibas 
जाने जाने ए चाय गो शाय जाने ब्रिजे कोईलो बास राधा कृष्णा नित्य लीला परिलो प्रकाश आनंदे बोलो हरि भजो वृंदावन श्री गुरु वैष्णव पदे माजाईया श्री गुरु वैष्णव पदे पद्म कोरिया नाम संकीर्तन को गे नरोत्तम मोदास हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय प्रभु पदा प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय प्रभु पदा जय चंद्रमौली महाराज जय चंद्रमौली महाराज जय चंद्रमौली महाराज जय चंद्रमौली महाराज शिला प्रभु पाद की जय इस चंद्रमौली महाराज की जय हो जय थैंक यू सो मच इंग्लिश बट आई एम वर्किंग हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड यू महाराज माता जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर एफर्ट इट्स योर एफर्ट दैट काउंट्स एवरीथिंग विल फॉल इनटू प्लेस हरे कृष्णा महाराज प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय हंबल ओबिसेंसेस ऑल ग्लोरीज टू श्री लाल प्रभुपाद ऑल ग्लोरीज टू योर लोटस फीट महाराज थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर योर वंडरफुल वंडरफुल क्लास इट्स ऑलवेज सो सिंपल एंड इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड महाराज please bless us so that we all can apply those um, into actual actions um i would like to go ahead and request radhe govind uh, prabhu to unmute himself and uh, pose your question to maharaj radhe govind hari 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 krishna aaj maharaj ji uh, darvat pranams to you uh thank you maharaj ji for such wonderful uh, explanation uh, maharaj ji uh, uh, i i wanted to ask you that uh, uh, do we have a spiritual uh, sorry do we have names uh, in the spiritual world do we also have names like uh, if if we go to golok vrindavan then do we have names uh, over there you have a name you have a form you have a reference. you have a particular type of dress You have a particular type of body. You have a particular type of body color. You have a particular service. There's eleven indications of your identity in the spiritual world. I just named the ones I could remember. <laughs> so yeah, you you think the spiritual world is devoid of all of this stuff? We got we got all of this stuff in this world. And the spiritual world is just nothing. <laughs> the spiritual world is the reality. It's then simply a reflection of the reality. Although we try to copy the reality, it has no substance here. So whenever we do in this world, it leads to our defeat and ultimately. So yeah, everything we have in this world, except sinful activities. <laughs> Is there in the spiritual world in full? It's an under chin maya ras. It is fully spiritual and fully joyful. Maharaj, so uh, how 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 we get uh, names? Uh, I know about the form. Like we get forms. Uh, we have form and uh, colors. So a uh, name uh, is given by Krishna himself. Uh, Uh, sorry for the silly question, Maharaj. Yeah. You have your name already. You just have to. You have to realize your name is already there. Okay. 
Okay, thank you, Maharaj. I uh, can I ask you one more question, Maharaj? Before you ask, do you uh, under- Maharaj, why is why is oh. Krishna's uh, favorite oh. favorite month is winter? Hare Krishna, Mataji. Maharaj oh. wants to talk to you something. Can you just oh, yeah? Listen. You want to talk before you listen. Listen. Um, Sorry, Maharaj. The point, the point is that now I forget what I was going to say. <laughs> the point is that uh, um, only when you reach a higher stage of bhakti, when you are on the transcendental platform and you raise in spontaneous devotional service, can you begin to understand all of these these identities about your uh, about the spiritual world? Who you are? What is your relationship with Krishna? Who is your group? Who you hang out with? Because there's groups there, just like there's groups here. So Prabhupada would always say that this world is a reflection of the reality, but in the reflection there's no substance. And the reality is full of ananda chinmaya ras. We're looking for happiness uh, with friends, family members, and people in general, and various types of activities that we adopt, but we're always frustrated. We get some satisfaction, but then time changes it, or it doesn't give us what we like. We find ourselves doing things we have to do, not what we want to do. <laughs> right, Sri Devi? <laughs> and it's just like you know <laughs> this is world is a place of punishment and when you get tired of the punishment then hey then you can get serious about your relationship with Krishna it's eternal it's never lost it's just uh, covered by our material vision and so on. so work for that then you can get it if you're serious. You have to be really Thank serious. Thank you, Maharaji. Thank you so much, Maharaji, for such a wonderful explanation, Maharaji. Uh, my my uh, next question is like, uh, why is uh, Krishna's favorite month uh, winters like Mark Sheesh? Why is uh, Krishna's favorite month is Mark Sheesh? Like we have uh, see, uh, read, read in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna's it's favorite it's month. Say it's his favorite month, the month that indicates him. His favorite month is Purushottam Mas, which comes up once in every 27, um, one, once in every 27 months. Higher than that, and not lower than that, is Kartik. You multiply Kartik 16 times in spiritual potency, you get Purushottam Mas. Purushottam Mas will come up at the beginning of next year. And you'll see all of the all of the festivals, all of the days that we honor, there's nothing there. It's just a blank calendar. In that month, you perform austerities and make great spiritual progress. And I could also give a class on that because it's really powerful. So that's his favorite month, Guru Shokan Mahas. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Maharaj. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Dhanvat Pranams Prabhu uh, Maharaji. Uh, I'm sorry if, uh, if I have asked some silly question, Maharaji. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Maharaji. I get all sorts of questions all the time, don't worry. <laughs> but your question was not. Your question was good. It's actually okay, thank you, something that needed to be said. What, what needed to be said is to clarify what is actually Krishna's favorite month. He has his favorite food, he has his favorite girlfriend, he has his favorite place. He has a lot of favorites in different categories. He's a person. Wonderful. It was a good question. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Maharaj. Tanvat Pranams, Maharaj. 
Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you always. Uh, we have uh, Ilinia. She has joined us from Italy. Maharaj, she has a question for you. Buongiorno, buongiorno. <laughs> buongiorno. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> All glories to Shira Prabhupada and Guru Maharaj. <laughs> her name, her last name means good day in Italian. Ah. Um, when you want to wish somebody a good day, you say, Bonjour. It's a beautiful mm. name. Ah, name. my name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know um, if you uh, remember me. Uh, one year ago, uh, we met in Villa Vrindavana in Italy. And uh, uh, sorry for my English. Um, <laughs> I have. Um, you can parli, parli italiano. <laughs> tu mi capisci? Ah, uh, poco poco. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Anch'io capisco voi poco poco <laughs> e ci capiamo. Allora, io. Mezzo mezzo. mezzo. <laughs> sono. Sono davvero felicissima, sono felice. I'm happy to see you uh, because uh, I have um, my time to realize realization. Uh, mm. You are my Guru Maharaj. And uh, <laughs> I, I don't... Uh, um, um I don't know if I can be said but uh, I love you so much I also uh, maha let's see amore amore eh, <laughs> sì. ti voglio bene in italian ti voglio bene Va bene. Ok. Ok, thank you for your love. I will take, <laughs> I will take it into my heart and keep it there. Um, in this time, I, I have no, no question because I non ho capito tutto quello che avete detto. Ma... Um, I um, in, impegno to improve my English uh, for understand uh, you and uh, uh, speak with uh, other uh, devotees. And mm -hmm. a few in a few days um, arrive uh, your uh, uh, book and uh, I read uh, your book. Um, and what, what book? <laughs> The uh, daily drops. Yeah, and uh, another book. Holy jail. Yeah. Oh, va bene. Va bene. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Uh, my grandparents were from uh, from Torino. And Naples. Torino and Naples, the grandparents. Yeah. Oh. My, no, grandmother, my grandmother was living in uh, Italy for many years. Oh. So, Sicilian and Nabalatan, Sicilian and Nabalatan. I, I, I. <laughs> I know Ruini Nanda Nadas. Ruini Nanda? Ruini Nandana and Murari Chaitanya. Oh, I will go visit uh, Italy when I go to uh, come back from in India after because we are setting up uh, a program with, with um, Murari Chaitanya. Um, yeah. Or Kshatriya Dharma. Kshatriya Dharma, yes. 
So, Moto gracias. Happy to meet you, Leishe. <laughs> nice to meet you, Hare Krishna. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah, you, Lina Sorry about the cultural deviation. <laughs> For those of you who are not tuned to what we were saying. <laughs> Uh, Sukara Krishna Das. Hare Krishna. Hello, Namaskar. As soon as I'm going to be the best of business to notice feet, I can only speak Kama Saba, Kama Talevu, Saba Bia, Maxi Buku, Ulvar. That's French. That is French, but French, Italian, little different. So I don't know. I have to know Italian. I am Moto Gracia. Maharaj, I got, I, I got one question, Maharaj. Now, uh, that Mataji was asking about the spiritual world. So when we go to the spiritual world, we will be able to identify devotees from Japa Sangha, Tifani Mataji has come, Vinita Mataji has come, Chandrabali Maharaj. Can we meet Prabhupada? I try to understand the principle of the spiritual world. Yeah. Spiritual world means all knowing. In this material world, you to know something, you have to learn it. Most of the time, you forget it. In the spiritual world, whatever you want to know is available because you are completely sentient. You know everything, past, present, future. You know all your birth in the material world. You know your relationship with Krishna in the spiritual world. So all of these things, we have to understand that the spiritual world is uh, Sat, Chit, Ananda. Ananda. Chit means all knowledge, not just some knowledge, all knowledge. So when you understand that principle, then there's no need for such questions. <laughs> Maharaj, one question I want to ask is, uh, see, in the material world, we know our father, mother, our son, daughter, right? And our friends now we know you, we, we love each other, but in the spiritual world we have studied in the book and we are able to realize. But how to increase the love of Krishna? How we can love him like the way we love our son or daughter or friend or anybody? How we can have a one to one relation with Krishna from the material world? How, how can we love Krishna like we love our family members? Is that the question? No, no, I'm telling if we are physically missing him. We are seeing the Bhagavatam, we really love him, we chant, but how we can have the taste of Krishna coming in our life and we are able to talk to him, we are able to see him, we are seeing the dreams like that. How to increase the love of Krishna than anybody else in the world, only Krishna like that. How we can do it? Talk to him. He's listening. But talk to him in the, in the, in the mood of humility and prayer. You can talk to Krishna, and he hears everything at all times and all places. He's in your heart. He's Antarami. He's localized. He's in the spiritual world. He's in, he's in all parts of the creation at the same time. He's everywhere. Nothing escapes Krishna. But if you make a prayer, then Krishna will hear. Hear <laughs> prayer. And then he will reciprocate accordingly. That's Krishna. Well, I I am trying to talk to him through the songs. Jai Jai Jagana Sachirananda Tribhuvani Kori Jar Charanabanda. So I know, like that, I'm singing, he's listening, but I'm not able to see the reciprocation from him. Yeah, I, the happiness is in the service. Uh, don't you don't you feel happy when you sing these songs? Yes, yes, yes. I feel happy. And when you when you talk to me, I can see that Krishna is sending the mercy through Chandra Moli Maharaj. I can re relate that way. Well, there are so many people who can give you mercy. Yeah. Your Guru Maharaj, your god brothers and god sisters. Yeah. There's so much mercy available, you just have to get it. Bhakti Sangha, I'm getting so much mercy from all the devotees. 
the wonderful when devotees. When Prabhupada was asked, Prabhupada, give me your mercy. Prabhupada said, mm. I'm getting it. Just take it. <laughs> <laughs> we're not taking it and we think we're not we're not getting it. Just take it. Where, where's the mercy found? Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sastri Hoi, Sadhu City Hoi. That's the essence of the mercy. And then, Satam Prasangam, Mamma Sam Vido, Bhavanti Rikkarna, Rasayana Katha. It's all there in association with the devotees, hearing and chanting the glories of the Lord. But we have. <laughs> you are a pure devoted disciple of Chira Prabhupada. By in, in association, I'm talking to you. Sarva Siddhi, I'm expecting I'll get Krishna Prema. Well, everything you said is good except the first part. I'm not a pure devotee. I'm a pure... No, you're, you're a pure devotee. Anyone pure, Prabhupada is a pure devotee. I'm purely making mistakes every minute. <laughs> I make pure mistakes. <laughs> you, are, you are so humble, Maharaj. No. You, what you see on television is not everything. <laughs> Maharaj, give your blessings to all of us. Yeah. We need, only, you want we need your blessings. You, you want to know all about me, just talk to Shama Gauri. She'll tell you all the things I gave her when I stayed Jai. there. Maharaj, at your lotus feet, my obeisance at your lotus feet. I want to just take the dust from your lotus feet and get the strength for doing more pure devotee service. That's nothing else, Maharaj. You should, you should associate with Shama Gauri and her husband, Abhiram Saka. Their son Jai. is amazing. If I had the Jai. Devotee, <laughs> it's all your mercy, Maharaj, because of Jai, the, Jai. It's, it's reflecting on us, you know. Your mercy is reflecting on us, Maharaj. Thank you so much. She's my mother also, Maharaj. Samagori Mother. She's my mother. Yeah. The story is Samagori. Samagori Nitta Kishori. Jai. Three. What is the name? Three. So if I had the enthusiasm you had and the bhakti that her son had, then I would be good. <laughs> Yeah. No, nothing like that, Maharaj. Yeah. Whatever you see, it's like, you know, on top, the cream you see. You don't know what is on the bottom. <laughs> but all your, thank you so much for all your mercy, Maharaj. Thank you so much. We, we don't have any qualification, but because of mercy of the devotees like you, we are getting the services. Today, um, I just wanted to share one experience with you. Uh, like few minutes ago, I was talking to my brother. And he is uh, like five years older than me. And he was saying, like he, is, uh, he doesn't take uh, Krishna consciousness at all. I was trying so much, but he did not take it. So he said, I am decaying day by day because of hard work. And um, so yeah, I um, said, we also work hard, but we work hard for Krishna. So we are not decaying. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are getting more and more strength to work hard because of, yeah. um, we work for Krishna, especially my husband, you know. He's, uh, he's, when he puts his mind to something, watch out. <laughs> yeah. you, you can't you can't change it <laughs> he's good he's always, he's always thinking of Krishna and how to expand Krishna consciousness we, we are not doing much Maharaj 
but we you know try to give the facility you know so devotees can preach and you know we can grow krishna consciousness more and more in the winter time uh, ex external activities have a tendency to degree decrease so now you can increase your daily programs and invite people over to your home she has beautiful beautiful full size full size jagannath movies the same you yeah. find in in, in, in in temples you i mean they're big <laughs> so she has a smaller sense so jagannath is, is jagannath jagannath the ashram and we had ratha yatra yesterday maharaj Oh, yeah, very well. Yeah, we um, we went in a parade, uh, the Thanksgiving parade. Thanksgiving parade, okay. Yeah, we give thanks to Krishna. <laughs> yes. Yes. But today is right. It's today is the parade, right? Yes. Today. Uh, Today is means uh, that that was supposed to be, but they changed it. They did on the previous day evening, and they 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 started the parade uh, when it became dark. So it was like a night parade. So we have to put full lights on Ratha. It was good, very different they, experience. They wanted they want to enjoy sense gratification on on Thursday, so they had it on. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Maharaj. Yeah. You're supposed to hold it on the day. And that gives it that gives it potency. If you hold it on the day, it gives it potency. Yes. And you know, if you do it at night, the night before people work on Wednesday. And how many are they tired if they're going to come to a karate after after a full day's work? <laughs> yeah, but a lot of people came, Maharaj. It's, really? it's so much crowd was there. So much crowd was there, and mm -hmm. people yeah, people were happy to see Jagannath out there. <laughs> yeah, your deep, your small deep. You brought your small deities. The big one. Okay, so let's see. Do we have any more hands? Yes, Maharaj. We have some. Uh, thank you so much for the wonderful session. We have some uh, comments on the computer. And uh, here is Mishringa Lila Mataji saying, Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. You mentioned that Krishna is Bhakta Vatsala. There is a beautiful comment of Srila Prabhupada uh, from Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 8, Verse 13, where he says, Although the battle of Kurukshetra was almost finished, Still, according to his vow, he should not have taken up his own weapon, but the emergency was more important than the vow. He's better known as Bhaktavatsala or the lover of his devotee, and thus he preferred to continue as Bhaktavatsala than to be a worldly moralist who never breaks his solemn vow. Could you please yeah. share some thoughts to deepen our understanding? That's the, that's the pastime that illustrates his. his title is Bhaktivad Sam. And it's all centered around Bhishma Dev. Bhishma Dev wanted to fight with Krishna. And so he arranged that. So Krishna reciprocated by fighting with Bhishma Dev. And he fought in a very angry mood too. Krishna was angry. But Bhishma Dev loved every minute of it. He said it was says it's compared to two lovers who are in a loving embrace. The uh, the fight between Krishna and uh, Bhishma Dev. Bhishma Dev was so happy that Krishna actually came and started a fight with him. That that was his his heartfelt desire. Yeah, so that's Krishna. Bhaktivedanta. 
So we have to understand also he's not karma vatsal or jnana vatsal or yoga vatsal. He's bhakta vatsal. <laughs> Parijata, where are you driving to? Grazie mille, Maharaj. Okay. Uh -huh. um, please accept my humble obeisance from Gauri Sushila Prabhupada. Um, Maharaj, I wanted to say something. Yeah, go ahead, Can please. I? Okay. Uh, I wanted to just add something. Uh, you did mention about the Yamadutas. And they exist. And there have oh, been yeah. incidents where people did get to see them. And, you know, even today, there are some examples. There are some examples. Well, excuse me, Maharaj, I'm just, I was in the car. So there are some examples where people have been um, caught by these Yamadutas, horrible looking uh, entity. Um, I would like to mention here that I've already met under who was in coma, something happened to him, he wasn't to coma, he declared dead for like a few minutes. And uh, he said that when he uh, was in that deep state, uh, two horrible looking, uh, about 12 feet uh, tall men came and uh, they were dragging him. And they were dragging him through all these uh, places like uh, fields, desert, hot roads, and when he was complaining about um, his feet burning, so they asked him, did you give any shoes to anyone for charity? He said, no. He said, okay, so this is your karma. So again, there was this uh, dark place where they were dragging him through. And he asked, uh, I need light. So he said, did you do the deepadan? Did you offer lamp to Lord? So he said, no. He said, okay, keep going. So like this, you know, he... he um, told all these things to me and later he said that when they were doing my accounts of my karma they said okay there's still some time left uh, you have been brought here so that you can tell this story to people so somebody pushed him and he was back in his body and since then this man um, had been doing a lot of um, charity work uh, he became religious uh, he started uh, doing bhakti in his own way. He goes to Vrindavan to Banke Bihar, you know. So, yeah, he got attached to Lord Krishna. And there are some things which he, which he said that uh, these are um, not to be told to anyone. Uh, and there were some things that uh, maybe Chitragup up there or somebody up there told him. But he refuses to share them. And he says that I have been given some instructions. I can't tell this to anyone. But whatever wealth, he was a filthy rich person, Maharaj, and he kind of uh, started giving in charity and he helped people. And I think he also helps a lot of people in Braj and, uh, you know, using that wealth for uh, good purposes. And uh, and and uh, and this this I think this was like 12 years ago when he told me all this. And yes. And when you mentioned about the Yamadutas and uh, the chanting of Lord's name, because he's actually chanting. Uh, which mantra he's chanting, I don't know, but he's chanting about Lord Krishna, maybe Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudeva or something. So yes, there was this instruction, a very, very um, uh, important instruction. I think it was about chanting. So that if you don't want to see us, I think it was like he wanted to say that these men were saying, if you don't want to see us again, just chant. So <laughs> before this man had this um, incident, this accident, he was a miser. He was a non-vegetarian. He was, you know, he was somebody that you don't want to be friends with. This is what people say. But now um, there has been a massive transformation. I, I think I am not in touch with him. I met him only once. But I think now this man, I think, lives in Vrindavan or maybe some other place. But uh, we should take it very, very seriously what you just said that Lord has many names. And uh, the example of um, Ajamil, there are so many Ajamils walking around this Maharaj. But <laughs> the problem is there are many people who go through this event. There are many, many Christians. There are many, I don't know about Muslims, but yeah, I did hear from a lot of Buddhists, a lot of Christians, that they do go through this uh, experience. But most of them become uh, magnanimous uh, in context with the charity. They become like social workers. They don't chant. 
they don't uh, you know yeah. focus on the spiritual upliftment rather they become yeah. um, altruistic uh, kind of people so since we're here discussing amidst the devotees I would only want to say that take it very seriously. Take it really seriously because these things do exist. These people do exist. And whatever karma we are doing, we have to chant sincerely, first of all, and be watchful of our actions and be sincere to the guru and, you know, be careful of our behavior towards each other and towards every living entity because everything is being noted. It's right. being recorded in his CCTV camera. There's a giant CCTV camera <laughs> in the sky who's watching over us. And it is a pretty serious business. So Bhakti is a serious business. It's just not some time pass. It's just not something that you do you do for you know relaxation of your mind or your body or to feel good. But then this is actually something that we need to be very, very careful and serious about. So this is what mm -hmm. I wanted to say, Maharaj. I just want to add that... Um... There's one lady I met. Uh, she had uh, seven near-death experiences. Mm -hmm. In other words, she went to, um, she died, went to into these long tunnels, saw these different men covered with black, and then somehow or other they, and three of the experiences she had was at childbirth, where it's very difficult at childbirth where the pain of delivering a child, only women can understand this, and maybe even the, was so much that she actually lost, but because it wasn't her time, she came back. Okay. She wrote a book, and uh, one other small incident, there was one devotee, his father was, uh, we call him a, a macho, tough guy, hunter, and he had many guns. So he was sick, and then sickness increased, and he actually started to die. So when he was dying, and he saw the Amadutas coming, and he called out for his wife, bring my gun. Bring my <laughs> gun. He thought he was going to the Amadutas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, and I have been with devotees who have been in hospitals where other people had, when at time of death, they're just screaming and crying, and they see these persons, and these guys are real. <laughs> yes, Maharaj. But yes, that Yamaraj says, you'll never see my this, my servants if you chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra yes. and become devotional service. Yes. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Ataji, when Prabhuji Maharaj, one devotee in Delhi, two years back in Corona time, uh, she got a heart attack and she was a disciple of Gopal Krishna Maharaj and uh, she was taken to Yamadu, Yamalok and she was brought near Vaitarani and they told her that you are a lot of sinful act. But she said, I am chanting 16 rounds. How can I come to Yamalok? Immediately when Mataji came and told with a white dress, she told, my name is Sadhu Sangha. You never went for any Sadhu Sangha. That's why you have been brought here. You came once in uh, uh, somewhere in Noida, some Sadhu Sangha, but you slept. Your Guru Maharaj gave lecture, you slept. So now I am going to give, take your body back to your place. Your body is still not buried, not burned. Still in there because there is corona, there's a lot of queue was there. So she was brought back and she gave an interview. That video case I have not got. So she's doing a lot of class now after that. Every day, five Zoom classes. She's somewhere in Delhi, in Chandni Chok. I just that pray that she appear to all my disciples to wake them up, you know. <laughs> disciples, the ones that need it. <laughs> there's a few that really need it. It became a viral, that video. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. We have some... Um... Show your causeless message. Show your causeless message, Maharaj, to all of us because we are begging to you for the causeless message, Maharaj, please. Mercy has a cause. Jai. <laughs> 
Haribo. There are some questions and comments on the on the computer on the. Um, uh, Mat Jyoti Mataji, she's saying, Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my respectful obeisances. Um, her questions, she has a couple of questions. Uh, she writes first, those who are nirakara, who don't believe in form of Krishna, then how do they offer their obeisances at the lotus feet of Krishna Bhagavan, if at all? They think that the form of Krishna is just the imagination that is created in order for worship. But they say it's just a creation for the sake of worship, because you need form in order to worship. But they say beyond, higher than that is the niraka. So yeah, so therefore, some impersonalists will do that. They'll chant and they'll also worship, but they all think that these forms and the names are just material for the sake of worship. That's, now, that's their misunderstanding. <laughs> Krishna's name, Krishna's form is real. But because they have this wrong understanding, they can never go anywhere. <laughs> they just go down. Her next question, she says, how will I understand the reaction of Krishna after devotional services are done? So how to understand desires or expectations of Krishna with respect to our devotional services once our service is done? There's no service is done. Service continues. There's no such thing. You reach a point where you're finished. <laughs> if she's talking about when we reach perfection, then, then once you reach perfection, that Tatwa Deham Purna Janmani and Naiti Mameti Sarjuna. Once you reach love of God, then Krishna will take you back. Pure love of God. When you cannot live in this world anymore, when you look around and you see, oh my God, my husband, my wife, my kids, my home, my computer, my car, everything. Blah. There's no taste in any of it. <laughs> then you did because you have a higher taste. That taste is Krishna. And therefore, everything else looks pale. Right. But that's the state of bhakti, which is attainable through sadhu sangha and chanting the holy names. Our last question, she says. The Vaishnava Seva. Yes. They thought the gave the formula. Namruchi, Vaishnava Seva, Jivadoya. Taste for the holy name, service to the Vaishnavas, preaching to the fallen souls. <laughs> That's this whole movement centers around these three principles. Thank you, Marat. She says, I think her one last question, Jyoti Mata, she says, if one is taking care of health and fitness, but is focusing on serving to Lord, but how do we ensure that the care is not a sense gratification? I mean, the care for yourself. So you're taking care of your health, you're taking care of your fitness, you're doing things for yourself, um, but you at the same time, you're trying to focus on the Lord, but how to make sure that the process is not lost? Um, Krishna gives us the, he says it's the middle road, not too much, not too little. Not too much. Uh, required. He says in the Bhagavad Gita, um, one who eats too much or eats too little, sleeps too much or does not sleep enough, cannot practice the yoga system. He says one who is temperate, is eating, is sleeping, working in recreation, can perform the yoga system. Temperate means moderate. So you have to find that place where maybe it's something you have to work at. You have to find how much time you want to give to your, take care of your personal needs. Well, you have to do that, or else you, the body cannot function properly, and then you'll, you'll not be able to serve nicely. Mm -hmm. 
And so that, that's something you have to evaluate by your own um, your own service. Am I wasting time doing too much? Mm. Am I affecting my body? Therefore, I cannot um, serve nicely. Yes, thank you, Maharaj. Balance is so important. Thank you. Um, so, oh, in it's absolutely necessary yes. to get an issue. Sadhu, how's it going? Tad Vigyartam Eva Guru Vigatste. Tad Vigyartam Guru Eva Vigatste means that one must accept to be sheltered of Krishna's representative. Mm -hmm. That the word Vigatste, Prabhupada said, it means must. One has to. Yeah. Because one can make progress in devotional service without the guru, but only up to a certain point. And then one requires personal guidance because material energy is so, so subtle and so bewildering that unless you get guidance from the spiritual master, you'll find yourself you know, uh, doing the wrong things and not doing the right things. Or you may have wrong attitude. So we require, that's why guru means spiritual knowledge, practical guidance. Okay. Thank you, Maharaj. Ileana Mataji has a question. She's asking you, Maharaj. I found this link on Facebook group, Disciple and Friend of Chandramoli Swami. Where can I still find you? How often are you on Zoom? Can I leave you my phone number to get the link to connect? Thank you so much. I need your association. Um, let's see. Who do we have online here that can help you? Let's see. Yes, um, I saw... So, uh, Srimati, is she still here? Shrimati? No, Maharaj, I think she left. Maybe yeah. Brevati Mataji is there. She oh, can. Uh, she Devi is here. She Devi, yeah. She Devi Mataji can contact her and take her phone number and. Yeah, so you can help her, Sri Devi? Yeah. Sri Devi. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. We have uh, reached a time limit. So we have to go on to the other yeah. So I have to stop here. Okay. So we'll see you again. In two weeks, of course, any of you want to go on my regular Zoom call, you're more than welcome. Just connect with Sri Devi and she'll give you the Zoom link. It's at five, I'm sorry, it's at 12 o'clock noon UK time. Most of you are from the US, so it's about um, eight o'clock. No, seven o'clock. Seven o'clock Eastern Standard Time, six o'clock Central Standard Time. Yeah, Maharaj, one question in the chat, you know, I asked her the same question. Like, why you said mercy has a cause? Shukhakara Prabhuji asked. Yeah. Mercy has a cause, we can't see the cause. Really, the mercy has a cause in the form of the spiritual master. He's canvassing to bring more souls back. So if you take it, that's mercy. And therefore, it appears to be causeless, but it actually, it's the mercy of the spiritual master. But, but causeless, you also can give no Maharaj. You can give us causelessly also. If you want, you can give to all of us. 
I can give you. I can give you what? Thank you. Accepted. I tell not to feel a tickle. Give for everyone, Thank Maharaj. You. Everybody is all are waiting Thank in queue. We are all beggars. Yeah, me too. No, <laughs> 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 Maharaj. Bhakti Vinod Thakur says, "Amara jivan sare pape vate na hi al for lela lela." You know that one? Yeah. You know that one? Hmm. You know that one, Sukara? Yes, brother. Yeah, Maharaj. That's all. That's even all that word says. Ah, a lot of sare pape rate na hi o puyera le sa. What is that? Okay, so translate that. And, and my my life is full of sinful activities, and no. he is. But he is telling lies because he is such a great soul. That's your humility. You are also telling lies, Maharaj. You have got mercy. You have got proper mercy with you. You are a pure devotee. You are a pure devotee, Maharaj. Please, we you know. He blesses all of us. Blessed today that we chant nicely. I tell you all the mistakes I make every day. Continuous. We want your blessing for the taste of chanting, Maharaj. Please, taste of chanting. Okay, everybody together. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare Thank you so much.